up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I love colorful things, so we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Very Challenge Blue Generation. Before we get started, I just want to say, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because my goal is... I'm sorry, did we just hit my goal of 900,000 subscribers? I think we did it, baby, yeah! It feels weird to celebrate alone, but I know that I'm not because we got 900,000 of you guys at home, which is freaking, I don't think it like hit me until this moment. Oh my God, wow, I'm celebrating with so many of you guys. So thank you so much to everyone that subscribed. I guess we need a new goal. So I think the new goal is to hit 1 million subscribers. That's like kind of the next big step. There was a large part of me that never thought I would get there. So the fact that I've been just here is bananas and exciting in a way that I can't process right now. I can't believe this is my job. Honestly, I can't believe this is my life. So thank you guys so much. It means the world that you guys have sat down, whether it be for one episode or all of them. Thank you for being here and making my dreams come true. This is crazy. So yeah, this, thank you. If this is your first time seeing any of my videos, what's up? This might be a weird intro for you. We are doing <laughs> a challenge in The Sims where you have one family and you play for 10 generations. We're currently on the blue generation. We just went to prom in the last episode with a boy who then we went on a date with and it went well. Unfortunately, we are struggling in our grades in school right now. So we really need to buckle down, but not before like we lock it down. You know what I'm saying? Our girl is smitten with her man, Vincent, and probably is going to just zero to 60 on that thing. I'm just so happy, guys. I love hanging out with you all. So thank you so much. I'm getting shy and I don't know what to say. I guess that means I've run out of things to say. So let's just get to the video. <laughs> all right, so Riverberry is going to sleep. Royalberry is all grown up. Look at that sweet bean. And Robin St. James ages up on Friday, so in just a couple episodes, but tomorrow's Christmas? Yeah, let's do it. Winterfest, baby. I feel like River, listen, we're a good C student. She's not doing great. The thing with the school is that it's really hard to level up your school unless you don't go to school. So I think in this episode, I'm gonna just not, I don't I don't wanna not go to school. I think we, we're gonna have to like switch on and off between going to school though. So we might not go to school and instead maybe have our boyfriend over for Winterfest. I mean like that might be a really sweet holiday to celebrate together. Is he like our boyfriend yet? No, he's just our crush. Oh, but we're soulmates. Two Sims, one heart. At least that's what our girl thinks. Okay. Oh my God, he's crushing on us. Wait, I didn't know he was crushing on us too. That's so cute. I had a suspicion that he was crushing on us, but I didn't think it, like the Sims had made it that way, but that's so cute. I'm not looking forward to her having a secret one time affair. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We needed to upgrade his bed and his bedroom because it's like kind of for infants and toddlers. We'll give our little lad something cute for his bed. Maybe like this one. Maybe we'll remove this little shelf here. Or I don't know. I kind of want to match the wallpaper and make it more of like a rustic, I guess. A rustic looking guy. I mean, I, maybe this one has options here. This green is pretty nice. Although he's not green. He's like blue, isn't he? I so don't need to get hung up on this right now. <laughs> like why? I'm going to redo it anyway. It really doesn't matter. And yet I'm like, which one looks the best with the wallpaper? All right. This one looks good. Keep the like little light here. Give him a bedside table. Maybe something like that. We could make it match the bed a little. There you go. And then we'll put like a little lamp on it. The little like fox lamp is so sweet. That one matches so perfectly and it is perfect for a little kid's room. Yeah, I think this is coming together. It's like not a perfect little room for a boy and a girl, but you know, although I could move this bed out a little bit, put this kind of here, make them a little more mature. Yeah, that's cute. We can move her bed out here too. That way it's a little bit more like a bedroom. Perfect. We'll have Robin go back to sleep and her big brother Royal also go to sleep. All right, how's Ivy on the computer playing around at 2 a.m.? Cool, love that for us. Maybe go to sleep though so we can get to school tomorrow because our girl River has some stuff to do. She's gotta go to school, gotta get 
her bees back in order, and all of my sims are asleep at the same time. River has got school in an hour, so River, come eat something. Let's pause here while I sort out what we want her to eat. Can you quickly get some, we'll do cereal? But you cannot, you have to go straight there. She's, she's not gonna happen. She's got 30 minutes. Wait, 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 wait. Put it in her inventory and eat the cereal. Maybe she'll make it. It's in your inventory, just eat it, just eat it. Oh my God, are you kidding? It like deleted. Okay, well eat a chocolate chip cookie that's in your inventory then. Eat the chocolate chip cookie then, River, okay? I'm doing my best out here. She took way too much time to sit down and got one like bite done. Of course. Girl is trying me. We're gonna send her alone today, like I said. She had a great time, but she's gotta buckle down. Mom's like, okay, you gotta focus. Let's quickly listen to the teacher, okay? So hopefully your performance goes up and we're gonna, I guess, stick with Ivy today and our husband Fletcher. Ivy's having some yummy food, gonna maybe use the toilet and have a shower. I love having a full bath downstairs. I think in real life, I wouldn't probably shower in that full bath that much because like none of my stuff would be downstairs. Look who's up at Robin. Dad, why don't we make some food? Actually, let's just put Robin, give food to Robin. We're gonna give her some applesauce since this morning. It's cute to like take care of our kids at, while our girl's at school. I don't think we've had too much time to like bond with our little beans. A big test is coming up in history class for River. Okay, here's our moment. We gotta get her going here. River's been doing okay, but a good score really boosts her overall grade and that's what we're focused on today. Should she do her usual amount of studying or study as much as she can? Uh, Study a lot, obviously. River focuses hard and reviews all of the material and it pays off big time. Yes. She scores higher on the test than anyone else in the class. The teacher congratulates her on a job well done. Yes, River. Bathroom sandwich. We found River in a bathroom stall today, uh, eating a sandwich. She got in a fight with the plastics at school. This isn't unexpected. We're not sure what to make of it, but we figure she'd call. Excellent time management. We're proud of her. Fletcher's, yeah, taking care of our sweet baby angel. What are you doing, Fletcher? going to work. Okay, bye Fletcher. Is Ivy going to work too? Oh, Ivy's going to work too. They both have their little black outfits on. That means the kids are gonna be going to daycare for today. No, actually we're hanging out with Royal. He's eating cake for breakfast. We could actually invite over someone to hang out with Royal, I suppose. Oh, they set Aunt Bailey to watch the kid while he's home. He hasn't like hung out with Aunt Bailey that much, apparently. He's like, hi Aunt Bailey. It's nice to officially meet you. She's like, I've been around for your entire life but it's fine. Oh, he wants to give his little sister a hug. That's very cute. But he thought his little sister was kind of stinky. Why don't you clean up the dishes for us? Yes, King. When do you go to school? Tomorrow? Oh, they grow up so fast. I love our beans here. River's getting up to fitness. Okay, River. Yes, she's an excellent C student. She's gonna be a B student tomorrow. And look, we're gonna go hang out with our aunt. We're gonna cheer for our aunt. Be like, you're so good. She's not nearly as good as her brother is. What does he wanna do? He wants to have an activity table and draw pictures. I think that's what his sister used to have. He is a, quite a creative kid. I know I wanted him more to like be creative to like write stories and stuff, but we could get him a craft table too. I think I'm gonna go with this one. You can take a thoughtful shower and try to get inspired. Royal leveled up his social skill. Good job. It's great. You're going in with a healthy social skill to school tomorrow, Royal. He's gonna take us a little shower. Work on being an artistic prodigy. Except for he doesn't want to go into art. He wants to go into writing. Let's draw a vehicle. He's not inspired yet. How do we become more inspired? Maybe if we like have him draw, he'll become more inspired as he draws. River reached writing level three. That's a good job, River. Let's browse some art. Hopefully browsing art will help him become more inspired. There he goes. Okay, great. And now we can resume our vehicle here. Yes, okay, he, he did one drawing, so that's great. I wish these could go in these frames, that'd be cute. But let's draw shapes now. Our grades are up! And Ivy earned a vacation day and Fletcher earned a raise. What, this is such an exciting day. Good job, she's very tense, but we did it. We're a B student again. She needs some fun, but don't worry, girl. We can watch your favorite television show. 
the cooking channel. Royals finishing up his second one. Robin's home and oh my God, is she stinky? Oh my gosh, let's give Robin a bath. Royals now uncomfortable, but I think he finished his first level of his artistic prodigy. Yay, he did. River is watching TV, but I feel like you could also like cook maybe for the whole family. We could do, we're level five. Veggie yakisoba. Yeah, we'll do your veggie yakisoba. She's on the phone. Of course she's texting her boyfriend. Who's outside? <gasps> it's Paige. Come on in Paige. Oh my gosh, my best friend Paige has come over. She's never won to come to my house. So this is an exciting experience. Compliment her outfit. Be like, you look really cool, Paige. Okay, my family's in that room. So let's maybe go hang out in my room. Family is like everywhere and I don't want to deal with them. This is my room. So let's chat here. No, 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 no. What, what are you talking about? Come here. I'm gonna make them sit and chat upstairs. Why are you going downstairs? We can ask her about her day. Be like, tell me all about your day, girl. They're gonna gossip up here. Be the best of friends. Robin can talk now. Look at her, she learned to talk. Robin, you're so cute. Why don't you and your brother play together? Can he play with you? Oh, tell a story about a little mouse to Robin. Okay, why are you going? She's gonna go ask her mom for advice. I really wanna be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really wanna be friends with me. That tracks. I'm sure Paige said something rude to her. I feel like, you know, mom's gonna be like, just keep being friendly. You're doing great, sweetie. Royal and Robin are jokesters together. Cue the punchline. Royal and Robin just cannot stop cracking each other up. Oh, it's always a hoot when they two are in the same room. I think this is probably why they end up staying in the same bedroom, like that they just love being together and they don't want to be separated. They're pretty close. Family members of the jokester family dynamic will choose to perform funny or mischief interactions with each other more often and they'll feel extra playful when spending time together. That's so sweet. River is hungry. River, instead of doing that, why don't you make dinner for everybody? Again, the vegetable yakisoba that was talked about earlier that I didn't end up making. Hopefully we get up to that next level of cooking. She loves cooking. She's having so much fun. Fun. Oh, and look, Paige has come to hang out and chat with her. She's like, oh my God, you're so neat. Oh my God, please don't turn on your favorite music. Not in front of your friend Paige. She's gonna make fun of you so much. River's really going ham on this yakisoba, trying to really impress here. Everybody have a slice of the yakisoba if you want it. Looks delicious, River. I really feel like she outdid herself. Look how beautiful. I would love to eat that. That looks really tasty, honestly. Oh my God, of course. Yeah, Paige and her having negative interactions, of course. Royal's over here just listening in. Wants to become friends with his aunt and give Robin a hug. Robin toddling. She's going hard for the food. Maybe we'll like come sit here together on the couch and watch some more TV. It's my favorite, the cooking channel. I bet her she'd be like, why aren't you watching like cool drama shows? Why are you watching cooking shows? This is so boring. But she can't be stopped, okay? She loves her cooking shows. Yep, yeah, she literally literally left. She's like, I should get going now. Robin is playing with mom in the bathroom while dad is watching from the toilet. You know, they're a couple that's very comfortable with each other. That's great. Robin's getting put to bed. Good night, Robin. Royal staying up a little late. River's going to bed. Tomorrow's Christmas. We're gonna see our boy. Royal, do you wanna do your homework really quick? He's doing his homework in his sister's room. He's like, this is where studious people study. We're gonna put Royal to bed. Royal, let's go to bed. He would be the type of kid to stay up reading. Mom, let's go to bed too. And we're all gonna wake up and it'll be Winterfest when we wake up. Yay, Winterfest. The problem is I still have the bug where not every Sim has Winterfest. So some of them might still go to school and or work. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Regardless, we might just go out with River. I, I would assume River will have Winterfest, but I actually don't know. And mom and dad woke up about the same time. And it is Winterfest, it's Winterfest for mom, not dad, not River, Royal and Robin, great. So I guess uh, River, you're going to school today, but we will maybe have you <laughs> after school have some quality time with the bow. I hate this. I guess I can still do Winterfest with the family, but it, it makes it way less fun if the family's all just like 
not doing the same thing. Like he's gonna go to work today, I think Fletcher is. No, he doesn't have work today. Okay, so he doesn't have work today. She obviously doesn't either. We have school today. Royal doesn't have school today and Robin. So it's literally only River, my main character that doesn't have school today. So maybe we'll just have her take off. The only option is for her to call her and fake sick to school. And I don't really want her to do that. She didn't do her homework today, unfortunately, but we're gonna work on our school stuff. While she's at school, we might decorate for Christmas. Oh, she found some, some cute stuff. Okay, we have like a little nutcracker prince we could put outside the door. Some candles that can go downstairs, maybe on here. We got our Christmas tree up and we can decorate the Christmas tree all as a family. Is everybody up? I guess Robin's not up, but she could get up. Royal's up. Our daughter Robin can't light the tree. She just wants presents, food, and Santa. So we're spending a lot of time without our daughter, our teenage daughter, because she is at school. We're trying to get her to level up her skills. She's almost excellent, which means we're almost an A student. So after like maybe today, we'll be able to go back to high school with her, which would be great. They're all lighting it up together. And we're gonna decorate with the blue and green plaid tree skirt. We're gonna decorate with like some garland. They're putting the ornaments on, being silly willy with it. There we go, that looks great in this house. They're all having fun together. Our girl is up and she's hungry. Okay, come downstairs, sweetheart. Our sister's gonna be so happy when she gets home. She is excellent, but she hasn't quite gotten the check. There we go, we got a blue and green Christmas tree tree and dad is going to put some presents under the tree of course for the family let's have dad give robin a bubble bath and royal oh royal's playing out in the snow why don't you build a snow pal with your mom today hopefully later we'll have river and her boyfriend be building snow pals together and playing in the snow i just want him to come over can it be three o'clock yet she's got oh she got the excellent the winter festivities which is very cute Wait, she's still a B student? What the heck? You were literally an A student like, oh my God, uh, she's so over it. Okay, girl, well, don't worry. You can call over your boyfriend to come over. So Vincent, well, he's not her boyfriend yet, but he's gonna be. Invite him over, queen. So you guys can have wintry fun together. There she goes in her cute outfit. She's so over things. She's like, out of the worst day ever. Oh my God. Uh, they made me go to school on Winterfest. Oh my God, he's immediately flirty upon seeing her. So cute and he said yes to the date. Okay, I don't think we'll stay here. We could go to the thrift store. Today is the day we're gonna ask him to be our boyfriend. And it apparently is comedy night, which we were not planning to do, but that's okay. I think we should give him a Winterfest gift of a print of us together. She's so like, I took this photo of us. Do you like it? Hopefully he does. Oh my God, why is there a werewolf here? It's Christopher Barry. Can you like not? He just ran inside. I am related to him, but I don't want to admit it. Here we go. This is a present for you. I hope you love it. Oh, you didn't love it. Okay. Well, that probably made her, yep, that made her feel terrible. So that's awesome. But yes, let's kiss our date. Be like, oh, okay. Well, we'll sweet talk him a little bit. She's devastated. Yep. Ooh, actually, we should kiss him under the mistletoe. That's even cuter. They're having a good Winterfest romance moment. Let's maybe find a little private space upstairs to kind of sit and hang out together. Relax, have fun. She's so annoyed still. <laughs> She's like, and then my boyfriend didn't like the photo that I got of her winter vest and everything's terrible. We're gonna tell him like a romantic funny story. Should we ask him to prom again? I think we should. Oh my God, he said yes, I'll go to prom with you. Oh my God, yay, they're going to prom together officially. What a romantic moment. She was like, also I was thinking about it and should we go to prom together? And he's like, oh my God, I only wanted to go to prom with you the first time and you said no. And she's like, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna have a deep conversation and then we're gonna ask him to be our boyfriend. Oh, they just got a new sentiment. Oh my gosh. They have so many sentiments right now. Will you be my boyfriend? And he said, yes. They're so excited. And she wants to take a photo to commemorate, which is perfect. We should actually do that. They're starting to go out officially after long last. I honestly feel like this was a long time coming. 
For sure, for sure. Oh my gosh, but look how cute they are. These two, oh my gosh, they just, oh my gosh. Let's take a photo with Vincent on our nicer camera too. I always forget that we have that one, but I feel like it'll give us like better, yeah, wider photos. Yeah, like that. So that way we can have like more of their faces in these photos. This is perfect. Look at these sweet peas. She's still upset about class today. Maybe you should vent to him. She's like, I had the worst day at school today. That brought them closer together. It didn't help her stress though. Why not? I feel like that should have taken her stress down a bit. Why don't you go wash your face? Try to calm down. We're feeling very flirty now, so this is exciting. Do some passionate kissing. They should just like really go full force with it. No one's upstairs. They just really have this upstairs area alone. Okay, let's get, oh, is there no one down here? There's seriously no one down here to like, feed me? What if I would eat food? Let's sit together downstairs. Maybe if we go down there, someone will show up. Fashion browser, bubble tea customer. All the people are customers. Where is the person that works here? Girl is hungry. What's going on? Well, at least he found some clay to play with, I suppose. Well, this is not going well. I guess we could work on our photography skill more, maybe? Oh, they're so cute. Also, Julius Cobb, he originally was made with, I'm so, I'm gonna botch this because I don't fully remember how, vert, Vertiligo. And I didn't have any of that custom content. So that just recently came out in The Sims where that was like a free update. So now he has it back and I'm so happy. He looks so great. We're doing our homework now and hopefully we can get our boyfriend to do homework together. Nope. The date is over. Okay, let's put the homework back. All right, and then we're gonna go home because it's like almost 10 p.m. and we are really hungry. So hopefully me and my dad can make a grand meal together. I'm glad that she and her boyfriend had a legendary date. And they are now officially boyfriend and girlfriend and they're going to prom together at the end of the week, which is exciting. It is Wednesday, so we have a chance to go to prom. Although I don't think my prom has worked in the last like two or three times I've tried to go to prom with my sims. So I don't know if it's gonna work this time. Time, but regardless, we'll just, I guess, make prom happen again. I don't know. So let's quickly trying to cook a grand meal. We're gonna cook, we'll do a ham dinner. That sounds really yummy, actually. We're gonna have our dad join the cooking. So hopefully it goes well. We got Robin playing with her brother. We got Ivy watching TV. I think we should actually have them all exchange presents. So like maybe we'll get those two to exchange presents with mom really quick. And then we'll have River and dad do it after because they're working on the cooking right now. I don't want to get to the end of the day. We didn't do presents. Okay. I feel like that's really important for all the kids. All right, kids, it's time to open presents. Unless we're not, what is going on here? We're not opening presents apparently anymore. Why aren't you guys opening presents? Can you guys all open them? All right, there we go. We got Royal opening his present. He got a train set, go off Royal. And now Robin's opening her present and she got a creative activity table. Ironic since we just bought one. Ivy got an Ozenoid. She will treasure it. Okay, great. Look at them all having the great time that they are having. And did you guys finish this? You did, so let's call to grand meal, holiday ham time. Dad went to bed, bro. Did not stay up for dinner, but it's all good. Ivy's coming to dinner, Royal's coming to dinner, and Robin is coming to dinner, so she's very excited. River did not wait. She was like, I'm eating this now, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I love them all sitting together, and Robin always sits at this little seat over here. Mom is very impressed. She's like, this is delicious. Great job, Ives, or Ro River, oh my gosh. Getting my Sims confused all the time, left and right. But our cooking is now almost level seven. Photography's still level four. It's kind of getting harder, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Royal and oh my God, Robin's having so much fun. I don't know when Santa's coming. They opened up all the presents. Do you get a present? No. Apparently her and her dad don't get presents, but they don't really care. Apparently to River, this holiday doesn't exist anyway. So we're gonna go to sleep. Royal, I think also might go to sleep. He's gonna take a quick little shower and Robin definitely Definitely needs to go to bed. And Ivy is playing on the computer. So if Santa comes, we'll intercept him and introduce him to the kids. Somehow I don't think he's showing up because it's already at 1.30. So I think we might've missed out on the time that he normally comes to visit, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think Robin and Royal had enough positive activities that they're not gonna be sad that they're missing out on Father Christmas. Sweet girls go into bed. 
that she says night night and Winterfest successful. Yes! Got him successful for all three members of the family that celebrated. I think that Rivers was probably successful and maybe Fletcher's. Yay! Love this for everyone. Good night, everybody. I've got them almost on a routine. I mean, yeah, it's 2 a.m. when they all go to bed, but hey, a routine is a routine. Tori Bailey Moon passed away. I don't know if I know who that is, but sorry, that's so sad, I guess. Mom's gonna be upset? Not really, okay. Then I don't know why they called me. Oh, we hated him. He was one of like our enemies. Okay, good. I'm glad he's dead. It's TV season premiere night. And tonight is the night. It's Thursday. We're going to school today. It's career day at school apparently, but we are a B student still. So I gotta send this girl to school. She has not done her homework. I don't think she's gonna have enough time to do the school thing. So let's play like, I don't know. What make, what's fun? Maybe on your phone, do some fun. Yeah, play a game on your phone. Up your fun a little bit before you go to school because you're gonna be working hard. We're gonna send her alone to school again today. Bye girl, I love going to school with you, but I need you to actually get your grades up. So that's all you. Listen to your teacher. Oh, Royals first day at school. Have fun at school, Royal. Oh my goodness. Listen to teacher. And Ivy is trying to fix, oh no, she's trying to wash a broken tub. Fantastic, Fletcher is hungry and going to eat cake. There's literally so many other options. Literally do something else, try something. Oh, and this one's broken too. He's gonna go grab some of his leftover food that he helped to make but didn't eat yesterday, so that's fun. Ivy's taking the trash out and it's power conservation day. Great, I love power conservation, it's so fun. I hate power conservation day. None of my sims can do anything and it's super boring. Ooh, Fletcher's getting a call. A teacher had a break up a fight between River and another student in the hall today. I am certain it was one of her besties, her frenemies. What should we do? Let's have them work it out. You know, that's that's important. Why is there this pregnant woman here? That is one of my friends. Oh my God, invite you in. What's up girl? Bethany, you're pregnant. Bethany, it's so good to see you. Who are you? Oh, Clifford Volkov. It's a boy too. And you're on your third trimester oh my gosh compliment your outfit you're looking so good ask baby's due date she's like I'm due pretty soon I'm in my third trimester I miss all of Ivy's friends that used to like hang out so this is great I love this well thanks for coming to entertain me on this day when I don't have anything we're gonna boast about our family be like I actually have my own family and they're pretty good Fletcher why don't you introduce yourself to Bethany, be like, hi, I'm her husband, Fletcher. It's nice to meet you. And they're gonna have their own little conversation. I'm gonna leave them to it because I'm kind of kind of over it. Oh, he's flirting with his wife. And he wants to talk with Robin and ask her how she's doing. She's sleeping in. She's kind of got her days and nights a little switched, but that's okay. She's looking real close to being an A student, but we were really certain last time, so. I won't be certain until what's done is done. Where are you going, Ivy? She's gonna go make a snow angel. Robin's gotten up. She wants to go hang out with dad and sing him a song. Where's my dad? Oh, he wants to go play with her. That is so cute. This family rules and I love them. Fletcher just live in his dream. I'm hoping that we can make his dream come true. <gasps> Bethany, oh my God, why are you hitting on my husband? Let's be like, absolutely not, ma'am. Yeah, reject her king. Be like, no, also I've got a headache. I think you should go. Why would you do that? Bro is like, absolutely not, Bethany. You get your butt out of here. I can't believe she just did that. We do have free love on. Okay, yeah, that's not good to keep happening. <laughs> remove free love. And you know what we're gonna do? Let's remove that one. But I will keep fun loving community and supporting the performing arts because those are two things that I love. So yay. Conservation day has now ended and please do not freely love on my husband. Okay, you get a break, Bethany, because I noticed that free love was on and I don't think it's your fault. Let's purchase some medicine. He needs some Advil or some Tylenol. But our girl is here and we need to talk to her and ask her, go ask about her day. Be like little sweet queen, What are you, how are you going? Sing your dad a song and also blow him a kiss. Oh, she's singing a song. 
Yes, good song. Loved it, loved it. 10 out of 10. She wants to do something with dad now. She wants to be funny with mom. Sing mom a funny song. Okay, Bethany, you're really on my list right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, our girl River is so close to coming home. I am on the edge of my seat. Did we do it? Did we finally get our grades up? She's still a B student. What did you do? What did you do, River? She's focusing too much on school now. She's overcorrected. She's getting in fights with her friends at school and she's eaten in the bathroom all alone. Feels like school is not quite as fun as uh, we thought it was gonna be for her, but she is in love. So I guess there's a silver lining to this. If you have any ideas for this playthrough, make sure to leave them in the comments. I would love to see all the tea you guys wanna cook up for me. But next time we will continue our quest to get River to the A status that she deserves and probably go to prom and uh, possibly things will get even more serious between our Vincent and River. Promise rings, perhaps? Fooling around? Who can say? But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!